Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and Hoff Bergman. Right, so we're now in January. We're actually in the third day of January, so the last one. I have been busy processing through all the grapes, and I mean all of them. As you can see, the uh, shed that I put in, which had a lot of uh, grapes in, don't know the exact number because it was pretty difficult to actually keep a track of it just because we were processing it through into the first stage of production, so I was obviously consuming it as I was harvesting and I wasn't putting it in a silo as well, so it was pretty difficult just to keep a trap. But we definitely got a lot. If anyone else has harvested this entire orchard over there, which is not there anymore, but we'll talk about that in a second. Um, yeah, if you've, if you've done that, you probably know yourself how much it produces. It is thousands, and I mean thousands of litres of grapes. So it's pretty good. It's pretty profitable as well. So I did, like I said, process through all the grapes. But the way I've done that is because I've increased again something else. I've been messing about, playing around, and I have uh, I just couldn't help myself, and I increased the cycles. So the amount of cycles that were going through each process, there was there's no longer a bottleneck um, in any of the points anymore. So not only did I increase the uh, thousand litre capacity of the crates uh, for the wine, I also increased the cycles there at the packaging plant, and the cost obviously to kind of match that as well. So we do, we, we progress through it a lot quicker. It just made life a lot simpler. I mean, with this series, uh, the way I probably want to do it with Hofbergman is the exact same way I did it for FS19. And I kind of want to just go through all the, the features, show it off, and then at some point we'll take a bit of a break from it. Um, and as soon as there's another map update, we'll come back to it again and show it, show off all the features. That's the best way I've found doing it because the map always changes. It's, there's so much new additions eventually that come to it. And uh, Farmer Andrew always seems to surprise everyone with something that he didn't expect. So it's worth coming back to. Um, so probably trying to just you know, speed through it a little bit more than I normally would like to do, just because of that reason. So if we have a, a quick look in the production menu, we can see that if we go down to the cleaning process, everything's done, pretty much everything's been processed on this side, so I've turned it off. This I actually upped, so this one was a bottleneck, uh, but I've matched the original step, uh, all the same of them, all the steps are the same now, uh, but as you can see, fermenting, all that stuff's done, even the press is done. Uh, the only thing that's left is red wine. So I have to have a bit of a disclaimer here. I've already recorded this part of the video. The way I did it originally was I recorded in two parts. The first part, and then I basically had to just go for tea. Um, to be fully honest with you, I had to go and have some food. So I stopped recording, came back to it and carried on. Now, when I finished both parts, I actually noticed that the first part didn't record properly. So I'm now re-recording the first part and technically after I've already done the second part. So in game right now, I shouldn't have this money. I should have a lot more, but I've made it like just so it doesn't give away the amount that I eventually get from selling the, the grapes. And I have to say it was a nightmare because um, whilst I changed the capacity of the, uh, the crates, I didn't change the mass. And then I was loading them up, you know, just gradually over time, <laughs> placing something like 71 crates on there. It was a lot. And then I tried to drive the truck, the truck, the, the lorry I had itself <laughs> leased out, didn't work, just didn't move. So I got one with a lot more power and it snailed. And I mean snailed, I was like two miles an hour to the to the cell, the cell point, the, the farm shop. And then where the second video comes in, or the second part of this video comes in, is when I have a bit of fun. Let's just call it that. So that'll, that'll happen in a second. But really, right now, it's not actually three o'clock. Um, where this video was originally recorded, if that makes sense, in, in the game. So it, I know it's confusing, but I've had to re-record the first part. Uh, so it will jump in. You'll see it, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you exactly when that happens. What I was technically doing is just talking you through the process, how I've got through it, and what I've processed itself, um, and also over here. So we'll continue going through this. So I'll show you that um, still got 31,000 litres of red wine ready to distribute over. Still got 8,000 litres of grape juice. And then if we go over to the wine bottle, you can see that I've got around 25,000 there. So the way it worked out is I actually had about 50% on the trailer to, to sell, which turned out to be about 73, 74,000 litres of red wine packaged. Um, and we've got another 70 odd thousand sitting here. So the amount of money that I made is actually only half the amount of money that I'm going to make when I take the second load. So I'm really sorry if it's kind of confusing. It's just because 
I messed up the first recording of the part. For some reason it didn't record right, so I had to change the settings again. Um, and then now it's working a treat. So the second part worked, and then this part, which will be all edited in the right way. So, as you can tell, I also took out everything from the field. So the orchard is gone, and we've got this nice open piece of land. So we're going to probably place in our own when it's the right time of year because you can't put orchards down in, in the wrong time of year and currently in January it's not going to allow us to do that but probably in the springtime I think it is I'd have to check exactly now we're going to place down at least half of this area back in orchards and we're going to try and space it out as a perfect up and down row so two rows going up one coming down and the harvester is full that's the, the best way I think of doing it so you yeah, it's going to be a massive decrease on what it originally was. But the good thing about it is it will allow us to use course play. And the biggest problem I had with this is in single player, trying to harvest this orchard is a massive job. And it's really difficult to do that in a YouTube video. So I found that uh, using course play, auto drive, them kind of things really do help you along with that. And uh, just make the, the videos a little bit more productive and trying to keep it within that 30 minute mark. So it's, uh, yeah, it was important for me to start afresh on this. So we're going to do this soon. Now, we'll also put a few, I'm thinking of putting like an extra field in, maybe at the top half, maybe a grass field, crop field, something, uh, something a little bit different, even if it's just production buildings that aren't already on the map, which uh, I doubt because there is a quite a lot, but uh, yeah, we, we can work it out. So like I said, everything down here is done. What we should probably do is shut the doors. That's something I didn't do originally. Shut the doors, turn the lights off, save a bit of electricity. Especially with these energy prices nowadays. And, uh, no, won't do this. There we go. So we'll leave that one open down there because that is still running technically. Well, it's not running; it's just distributing out. But we'll we'll leave it open. Uh, but that's pretty much the orchard all done so far. So we'll see what happens in the next one. But it's never going to be that big. Um, but I tell you now, we turned out some good money from this. So what will happen now is it will follow on the way it was supposed to in the second part and you'll actually see me start making some money right so the unthinkable has happened I got it here but it's tipped up and because it's so heavy I can now it's impossible for me to to get it back to where it should be um, definitely overfilled this I have gone out of the game and changed the mass of all the pallets that uh, the crate the the wine crates to uh, a lot less now so even though they'll, they'll generate a thousand probably should have adjusted the mass before um, so this won't happen again I did have to lease out a more powerful truck as well that just about snailed it here but the problem was I got here and tried to reverse uh, to line it up and it's tipped up and now it's uh, it's just proving to be difficult to get it to tip back on its side so as you can see though it is selling bits but uh, yeah just to try and get it to tip is uh, a bit of a pain so yeah, we're going to have to sell it like this. This is the most strangest thing I've probably ever done on this game. Right, so I have opened up the the, uh, the side and you can see what a mess we've got here. So I'm just going to undo the strapping and it should sell and then give us the chance to maybe tip it up as the weight reduces. But uh, yeah, what a nightmare. But we are selling. As you can see, the money is flying up. Which is what we expected. I mean, the the trigger must be quite um, wide on the ground, which is we're pretty lucky, to be honest. Because I don't even know if I could find another way of doing this. I don't think it, it's that heavy. I don't think anything else could pick it up. So this really is become the the unmovable truck. Uh, but look at the money flying up. All the hard work's paid off, even if it is a bit of a, a strange way to sell it. So at least now, next time. Even though it's going to be a thousand liters each one, still the mass is going to be a lot less, which means yeah, the uh, total um, weight in these tra in these trailers will not be anywhere near this again. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate because these will stay as one ton because they've already been generated on the map, but any any new ones won't be one ton. Um, you can see that it's all selling though. In all fairness, yeah, definitely selling. So we're probably just going to have to leave this be on its side. We probably should turn the engine off. It's not the the safest thing in the world to do. I mean, what we could do is if we change... 
if we could quickly just change the other side, open it up, and because we're unstrapped now, we just got 140,000 for that one period. But I did get quite a bit as well as it was selling on the side originally. But yeah, if we just try and we want to go. First things first, we need to reclose this. And then we need to change it to the other side. And I think then it should give us the option. So if we go curtain front right. Yeah, go to the back, open it up again, and now we should try and lift it up because I think, yes it is, there you go. See, that's what uh, we should have done the first time. And uh, there's a few, <laughs> few bits left on it, um, but it's still all drinkable, this wine is. We've got unsmashable um, bottles, so. so they don't smash, they're a bit like the they're shatterproof rulers. It's the same same material. Yeah, but we're going to have to use a bit of super strength, aren't we, for this? Well, at least it's been on a, on a travel as we've sold it. Now, this is the original size there, that 49 litres, but this is the one ton, <laughs> thousand litres that I did. I think it's the ton that's been the issue. So, last little bit. I mean, we can take the trailer back as well. Um, we'll keep that, we've purchased that, but the rest, the, so the truck is uh, something we're leasing out. But look at the money, we have shot up from this. Like I said, this is only half, we've still got quite a lot left. Let's just give it all a nudge. It is a lot, it really is. I've never, ever thought I'd be doing this on FS22. I usually try and play as realistic as possible. Uh, but this is far from that, so... Hoff Bergman is turning out to be a bit of fun, to be honest. Uh, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm happy with the money we're getting from all this. It makes it worth worth the, the time and effort it took to uh, drive that at a snail pace. And it's not even that far as well. It just uh, shows how much work went into it. So the last one, there we go, 483,883 in the bank account and uh, a pretty scratched trailer, so not bad at all, what a nightmare, I have to say that was an absolute nightmare, never again, we're going to definitely next time make sure we adjust the masses of these items as we're adjusting, uh, as we're adjusting the, uh, the volume, definitely, I think that's a, a no brainer. So let's back this out now that it can actually move a lot quicker. I mean, 13 kilometers. I think I didn't get above two on the drive down here. It was uh, very difficult. So I'll go back, I'll park this up. We'll uh, return the truck. We paid 6,000 for that, just to get it to go about two miles an hour, if that. Um, but look at the money we ended up t turning out. So. It's worth it in the end. Now, when we do the next half, so the other 70 odd thousand litres, things should be a lot easier. But I will return the truck because, in fact, that might not be a good idea because the, the cycles have been increased, so it's coming out a lot quicker. So it might make sense to keep it at the, uh, at the bottling plant just because I'm probably going to pay less in total. I don't think I'll be paying 6,000. So. We'll definitely keep it. I think I've just about made this. There we go. Happy days. Right, so now we can move on to what I actually wanted to be the main focus of this episode, which was UHT milk. Believe it or not, I didn't actually expect to spend that much time doing that, but uh, quickly, let's... Um, have a look at this. So this is still one ton, so I need to go back and actually adjust the mass again, just to see what's gone on. And that could have been there before. Um, I think we'd have to wait to see the next one that's processed. If we have a quick look, it might be due at a thousand. So uh, let's just have a quick look, just to make sure that it's working. So that's still got plenty in. And this one is it 428, but if we just speed up time a little bit. So we should have one now. There we go. 
bring out the F1 menu now, we don't need that. So yeah, it's still a ton. So we're definitely going to have to adjust that again. I'll change this over. We'll just leave them there. I think I've seen enough wine bottles for one episode. Right, so let's get back to normality and try and be a little less crazy. So we've got two trailers here that are full of milk. This one's got 8,000 and this one's got 7.5. Now, the reason I've switched into two is because I was filling up on the milk and I needed to make some space. So we've got 2,000 litres left. And if we have a look again at the productions, so over here, we want to be taking it to the UHT. Now, this in itself should come out as pallets. Again, they're going to be increased. I have increased them to about 2,000, I think it was. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're not going to have the same issue as before. Um, cycles, not too bad. I mean, it should actually bring in some good money. Now, let's just first check the comparisons. So milk, which is here, maxes out at 1,300 and around September. Yeah, but if we have a look at the UHT milk, it maxed out 1,900, same month. And also in January, which is where we're at. So we're probably going to leave this for a little bit because it's going to go on the down for quite some time until we get back to around September. So we could let this process through. We're also going to need some milk for cheese and uh, some butter as well. So we do need to save some spare. So I think we'll just take what we've got. Now, we can set the other one going. I'll tell you what, we'll set this one going. And we'll tell it to drive to the dairy. To the country dairy. Right, so I'm just trying to find the auto drive network and we're going to set it going from about there and it should link up pretty well. And then we'll uh, follow along in the in the Deutz. Right, so we're going to swing it around as well. I think he's gone that way. We might be able to just go this way in all fairness and just drive in this direction. Now, looking at the fields as well, they kind of like froze in time. Nothing's changed throughout that whole period, and I think it's just because of the winter months, but we haven't progressed at all through the growth stages. So that was uh, interesting. Uh, I do like that because technically in winter you probably wouldn't see much growth anyway. So we are just playing the waiting game on that one. But hopefully, as soon as we get into the warmer months of spring, we'll start seeing that grow and then weeds disappear as well because the, the withered... They didn't look that uh, nice as well in the field. Right, so he's actually gone in that direction, but I'm going to cut across this way. Because I think this will take me directly across to that building there, which I'm sure is the dairy. Yes, it is. So we'll take the shortcut. We'll let him go the proper way. We'll uh, go across here. Now, I'm hoping that... This will process relatively quick. I don't want to be seeing it linger and then we're doing a lot of other things and we forget about it. But we do need to do in the next episode probably butter and some cheese at the same time. Uh, but it's not going to be an instant thing as well. Again, with it being productions, we're going to have to wait. So we might be able to do some more actual farming by then, depending on what month we're in. There is snow due. Um, so might have to skip at least to February time, mid-February, um, maybe even further in. But here we are, so let's drop this milk off and uh, we'll start this production going. Definitely done a lot more production on Hofbergman than I've done in the whole of FS22 and uh, this is only my 8th episode I think it is. So there we go, clear milk being poured into the drain and uh, well, at least we're starting the production off UHT milk as well I do like the idea of that it's uh, pretty unique to add that in uh, but yeah if we just set this going to activate it we want it to store we don't want to sell it direct we'll, we'll be doing that manually I'll get a forklift again up here because I doubt there'll be one knocking around um, and then yeah we can wait until it's all processed and try and stick it on the trailer fingers crossed we can actually drive it this time. Right, so I've just sent the Deutz far back. It's unloaded. So now we're going to have to do the tricky task. And I probably could have drove straight through this, but we're going to challenge ourselves. It's been one of them episodes we may as well try and reverse a dolly. And if we go really slow, it usually kind of works. But it's uh, it's never easy. But they can't. They can't. It can be done. 
you just have to have the patience, which sometimes I've got and sometimes I haven't, so. It does look like I'm a little bit out on this one, doesn't it? There we go. So that shouldn't take too long. Uh, let's have a see how much it holds. It does hold a lot more than the normal production facilities. They usually hold around 10,000 I've been seeing, but I guess with it being milk and a dairy, it should hold probably a lot more anyway. Uh, but yeah, UHT milk. It's already started processing. You can see that it's done 20 litres. We're on times one as well, so that's not too bad. Uh, £240 per month production costs. When you tell it to this, um, it's, it's nowhere near. Uh, but then again, we are at 96,000. So grape juice and putting that into, uh, sorry, the red wine, turning that into uh, packaged red wine really is quite costly. But uh, the same with the, the grape juice, really, as well. There we go. That's that done, so I'll head back with this and uh, just take a look at the, the farm itself and we'll kind of come up with a plan just to see if there's anything to do. If not, we'll have to jump over to the next episode and uh, hopefully start doing some, some more of the farming side of things as well. So I've just got back part of these away. Now, I feel like we haven't actually done much, but the episode has gone on quite a bit, but a lot of it was messing about and... Uh, yeah, finally we had to uh, take the milk. Now it's dead easy. I mean, processing into UHT milk when you think about it, there isn't much to it, but that's just part of the production side of things. I feel like in Hofbergman FS19 you were a little bit more hands-on. I mean, we were technically hands-on with the production side of the grapes from the vineyard, but when you look at things like UHT milk, for example, you are pretty much just taking it from one place to another letting it do its thing and then you have to wait for it to uh, process and then you can bring it back or sell it pretty much just going to sell it though at that point um, and then I think after that there's not much else that you can be doing with milk except the, the cheese now looking at cheese it is again some hands on features to that and the butter uh, but nothing like it was in FS19 I understand that with the changes to farming simulator let's say with the productions it's probably going to be difficult to do the same that was done in off bergen fs19 but you never know i mean farmer randy always does seem to amaze and brings in something but maybe we can get hands on again like we used to um, some of the features though they were they, they are let's just say long-winded for the volume that you end up getting so it's a it, it's a big task to do. The cheese used to be quite a big task as well. Um, but there were some really good features as well that we're missing out on currently. But I'm, I imagine they'll all come. I think the best part for me was the way that they changed the animals, the cows, for example. That's, uh, that was really good. Definitely was. Especially the, uh, the calves, walking them over to the pens, the heifers, uh, the way that you could breed as well and inseminate cows. I think we are missing out on that part. But, uh, I imagine that will appear because it was such a big hit, it really was. It made a massive difference to that map. So it's weird because when I started off with the cows, I actually got a layer that spawned in this new pit, but uh, since then I've actually manually taken it out from within the uh, little enclosure in here for the cows. So maybe it is now, been, it's been changed and it's uh, a manual job again but you don't mind in all fairness I think it was uh, something that people I think it was a bit like Marmite some people didn't like it some people did I personally like it just because I think it's part of the farming job it is part to muck out it doesn't just spawn into the, the pits and you have to manually take it over there so I don't mind doing it I mean as you can tell now it doesn't take that much work I mean, we've only got 30 cows, so it probably will build up. But um, and if you if you get any from, I think you get some from the chickens as well. So not much, but there is some from chickens, and then the pigs will obviously do it. Um, I imagine the horses will too. So if you've got full full uh, pens of all the animals, then yeah, maybe it is a bit of a job then. Yeah, but at least that's done. We've cleaned them out. We can do some TMR mixing soon. We've now got the silage. I have got a tiny bit of hay left in here from one of the bales. Well, I put a few bales in here, but. 
Yeah, I've got 6,499, so it was like the one bale's worth left. We could probably mix a bit of TMR, but I am going to wait, I think, and just give them silage now. Maybe as... Yeah, I think it's probably better, actually, to give them silage and, and wait until we can do some more hay to make to make a proper TMR mix. I think that's probably the best bet. But I think on that note, I'm going to leave the video there. Again, it's been a crazy one. We haven't really done too much, it feels like, but then again, the episode's gone on. The uh, Selling them red wine crates, that, that was uh, something something interesting. Let's just put it that, like that. Uh, but yeah, in the next episode, we will be doing butter. We'll also be moving on to cheese, so we'll, we'll have a look at that some point soon we'll start getting some goats as well we've definitely got a lot of money now so we can probably look at our equipment as well in the next episode and see if we can upgrade it i'm thinking of getting a, a better goats farm maybe the nine series version and we could even improve on the uh, the pickup wagon as well or the loading trailer um i think we can definitely have a look at that at least just to see how much it's going to cost but thanks for watching do appreciate it every time hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel as well don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.